Hello video game fans and welcome to another video from Gaming Debugged. Now as a video game developer it is important to find ways to streamline your workflow and save time wherever possible. One way to do this is by using assets from the Unity Asset Store. The Unity Asset Store is a complete marketplace for pre-made game assets such as code, 3D models and audio that you can use in your own projects. In this video I wanted to explore the benefits of using the assets from the Unity Asset Store and how they could help you create better games faster. Now this video is brought to you by Stormforce Gaming so I would just like to give them a shout out. So stormforcegaming.co.uk is where you can design your own dream gaming PC. Whether you're on a budget and want to join the PC Master Race or like me looking to run some serious game development hardware during the day and then play Cyberpunk 2077 on the highest setting possible at night then Stormforce has a PC for you. Each custom built gaming PC is built and rigorously tested before sending. They also have free delivery, some finance options and plenty of warranties. The link is in the bio so go check them out and join the PC Gaming Master Race. So first off, let's look at how the Unity Asset Store can help you make games quicker. Unity Assets from the store can save you lots of time and effort by providing pre-written code and background assets that you can then incorporate into your game. This can help you focus on the more creative and unique aspects of your game rather than spending time on the more technical and time consuming tasks. Test out game mechanics. The Unity Asset Store is a great place to find different game ideas and different mechanics. You can experiment with various assets to see how they work in your game without having to spend the time creating them from scratch. Give your game extra polish. The Unity Asset Store has a wide range of assets that can help you add polish to your game, such as particle effects, baking solutions and professional lighting add-ons. These assets can help make your game look and feel more professional and appealing to players. Similarly, by using the wealth of version control systems you can ensure that you have a faster workflow with fewer bugs. Reverse engineer how they work. By using these assets and opening them up you can then learn how to code and create game assets yourself by examining their code and the comments that are included in the assets. This can be a really great way to improve your skill set and knowledge as a game developer. Although you might not want the asset to do exactly what it does on the tin, you might then be able to refine it and tweak it so it can do exactly what you're hoping for it to do. Use assets for common actions, systems and graphics. The Unity Marketplace has a variety of basic assets such as character controllers, enemy pathfinding and repeatable assets like trees that you can use in your game. These assets can really help you create a solid foundation of your game and save you time on creating these basic elements from scratch. I know when I start up a new project I have a set of around 10 which I load up straight away to at least give me um, a head start on my idea whether it's um, a character controller, whether it's just some background or some simple controls to help it connect to my joypad. Expand the reach of your game. By using the different localization tools available on the asset store you can make your game more accessible for those who don't speak the same language as you. Text-based adventures might have a niche audience, so by adding different languages means that you can reach that niche in more countries than just English. Make more games. If you're like me, you're always coming up with your next new idea, and the quicker you can produce the game that you're working on, the sooner you can move on to your next project. By using assets from the Asset Store, you can save time and focus on creating more games and bringing your ideas to life. That whole idea of prototyping is key. If you have an idea, you just want to get it down, you want to see if it's fun, you want to put it out there and then see if it's actually playable. So by having those quick, easy to use assets, you can put something very quickly together, maybe put it on itch.io and then find out if it's actually uh, something that people will enjoy. As soon as you've got that diamond in the rough, then bang, you can put all your efforts into creating that big game that you've been working on for some time now. While some people obviously frown upon games that rely too heavily on third party assets, using assets ethically and responsibly can help you speed up the game prototyping and development, resulting in more fun games for the players. The Unity Asset Store is a great resource for game developers looking to save time and create better games faster. So do you use third party assets when you're creating games or prototyping new ideas? Let me know in the comments and I'll be back with another video very soon. Finish him.